A new storm system is riding parallel to the coast of British Columbia, which will become our next weather story across the United States. It will be responsible for the resurgence of the severe weather season as we head through the last couple weeks of September. To start today's forecast, let's talk about the timing. It's Tuesday, September 19th today, and the system is still on its way. As we head into Wednesday, some rain and mountain snow will work its way into Washington state. The system will really move in by Thursday, with precipitation becoming more widespread. It will kind of stall out over eastern Oregon on Thursday into Friday, before heading east over the weekend. It will spark thunderstorms over the plains as the low-pressure area gets closer, with heavy rain over the northern Rockies. The low-pressure area will emerge over the high plains by early next week, allowing for it to organize further. This, of course, will produce more bouts of severe weather from Texas to Minnesota. The system will slide east by Monday before kind of just disappearing by midweek next week. This storm will be responsible for bringing multiple days of torrential rainfall, so before I show you my flood outlook, take a look at the expected rainfall accumulations for the next seven days. We can expect very widespread rain taking aim at the northwest U.S. all the way through the central United States. Some other areas of heavy rain are also expected across the eastern United States, especially for Florida, the mid-Atlantic, and southeast, in association with a new subtropical system forming. Across the green, I'm expecting some heavy rain with a generally low flood risk. The yellow shade has a slightly higher risk of excessive rainfall leading to flooding, especially if some areas get rained on repeatedly. Lastly, the areas in red can expect the heaviest and most persistent showers and thunderstorms, so be on the lookout for scattered occurrences of flash flooding. This storm will also spark some severe weather, so I've created a map for the areas at the greatest risk. The red areas where some severe weather is possible with a higher chance in the dark red. Purple shade represents where I expect the most thunderstorms with some of them being severe. If we take a look at the severe weather outlooks for the next seven days, we can see where the Storm Prediction Center is currently expecting the most severe weather activity. One of the hot spots is across Kansas, Oklahoma, and North Texas, which has a slight risk today and a marginal risk tomorrow. The main risk area will start shifting north with a marginal risk extending from Oklahoma to Nebraska on Thursday, with a day four slight risk already in place on Friday from Kansas to South Dakota. We even have a day five slight risk for Saturday extending from Oklahoma to southern Minnesota. Obviously, these outlooks will be changed and adjusted over the coming days as new information is revealed, but it's clear that the greatest signal for severe weather is across the central plains. But that's not the only threat we have to look out for this week. A stalled front parked across the Gulf of Mexico extending all the way to a low pressure system over Maine will be the trigger for a possible tropical storm later this week. Along the front, we will also be seeing shower and thunderstorm activity, which will bring some heavy storms and downpours to Florida throughout the week. Once we get to Friday, it looks like we will have an increasingly organized subtropical or tropical system developing off the southeast coast. That will conclude today's weather forecast, so if you did enjoy this one, I'm sure you'll like to see what's coming up. If you don't want to miss that, please make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell on your way out.